Hello Libra, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today for Libra. Sun Moon Rising, Venus. Okay, so we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. All right, we'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today, but we are going to focus on you first, Libra, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. Okay, Libra. So we have the five of cups. We got the death card, and then we have the two of cups. I feel like these are phases uh, that you're going through, okay? Kind of looks like you recently experienced a loss, and I do kind of feel like this loss that you recently experienced was with someone that you were once upon a time, possibly even in a kind of relationship with and or married to, but nonetheless, I kind of feel like there was a breakup here uh, that transpired between you and another person. Um, and I kind of feel like this is you trying to move into that place of acceptance, that it's over between you and this person, but I feel like you're realizing like, oh, wait a minute, I don't want this relationship to actually come to an end. I actually don't want this relationship to come to an end. I actually don't want to see this ending through. Like, it does kind of have that, that feel to it. Let's look at your person. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the two of cups for them. You know, the two of you are basically in the same boat. You guys are basically in the same boat here. You know, I just kind of feel like you guys are trying to let this go. I feel like you guys are trying to just accept the fact that it's over between the two of you. But let's just be real. I don't, I honestly don't feel like you guys really want this relationship to come to an end here. I don't. I really, really don't. I kind of feel like with this person in particular, yeah, with this person in particular, I kind of feel like they're experiencing this battle between what their heart's telling them to do and what their mind is telling them to do, okay? I feel like their heart is telling them, right, to try to work things out with you, to try to bring this relationship back together all over again, but I feel like their mind is telling them, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't even think about it. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You know? So I feel like, yeah, this person's experiencing that, you know, that battle between what their heart's telling them to do and what their mind is telling them to do. Apparently at the moment, I don't necessarily see you guys taking action towards one another. It's like you guys are just choosing to just kind of sit in this sadness, to be completely honest, because that's kind of what I'm seeing. I feel like you're sad and I feel like they're sad. I feel like you're hurting and I feel like they're hurting. Um, let's keep going. Doom, 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 doom. How does Libra feel? Okay. We have the two of pentacles. We got the five of wands. And then we also have the um, judgment card. <sighs> then we have the three of swords to so the seven of swords. And then we also have the star. Okay. So when it comes down to how you're currently feeling about this relationship you know i can tell that there's a part of you that wants to bring this relationship back together all over again but then there's this part of you that feels like maybe maybe i fucked things up maybe i fucked things up to the point where we're never going to end up getting back together it has that feel it definitely has that feel to it a lot of you feel like you ruin things here between you and this person. A lot of you feel like you self-sabotage a really good thing here between you and whoever it is that you're once upon a time connecting with. The fact that you have the Five of Cups out here and the Five of Wands, just be careful with this energy because I feel like there's a lot of regret attached to you. And again, we're working with energy, so this doesn't have to be you. This could be your person that I'm describing. I don't know why I, I, don't know why I thought that I uh, mentioned that, but... Yeah, with the Five of Cups to the Five of Wands, there's a lot of regret here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of regret here. Just be careful with this overall energy because with the Five of Wands to the Five of Cups, this could represent you beating yourself up over something that you did uh, that ultimately caused this ending here between you and them. I feel like you're beating yourself up over something that you said or over something that you did because you're looking at this entire situation like, I fucked everything up. I fucked everything up. I fucked everything up. A lot of you feel like you fucked up a good thing. 
Just be careful. Just be careful with that energy. So I'm more about the Ten of Swords. Okay. You could have definitely got caught red-handed doing something that maybe you shouldn't have been doing because I am kind of getting that for some. But I feel like obviously something bad happened here that caused this split here between you and them. I also kind of feel like it caused this person to really look at you differently. Because I feel like they went from looking at you like a king of pentacles to looking at you like you're the devil. Like you're somebody who doesn't have their best interest at heart. You're somebody who doesn't mean well. You're somebody who's untrustworthy. Like I just kind of feel like this person drastically looked at you differently after this moment happened here between you and them. To the point where it's very hard for them to see you like they once upon a time saw you. You know, they saw you as somebody who was very trustworthy. They saw you as somebody who was very loyal. And the fact that you did whatever it is that you did, it changed this person's perception of you. For sure, without a shadow of a doubt, it changed their whole perception of you. Now, even though it changed their whole perception of you, their heart still wants this. And that, that it, it, make, it makes sense, right? Why this person's mind is telling them, don't do it don't do it don't even think about it remember when libra did this remember when libra did that you really want to go through that again like you know it has that that feel to it all right let's keep going just be careful with this energy that you're harnessing man be careful because i feel like you're beating yourself up like i, I, I just I fucked everything up i fucked everything up you know it's like you're really blaming yourself right now for this ending here between you and them. A lot of you feel, like I said, like that, you know, a lot of you feel like you fucked up a good thing here. But even though you feel like you fucked up a good thing, you still want, you still want this. You still want this. Okay. You. How does this person feel? We have the Tower, we have the Page of Pentacles, and then we also have the Page of Swords. <laughs> Tell me more about these pages. Interesting. We got the Ten of Swords, we have the Emperor, and then we have the um, Nine of Cups. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Chariot. Interesting. With the Empress. I knew something was up with this energy. Yep, I knew it. I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Really? Okay. Um, I kind of see this person meeting somebody. Uh, now, it kind of comes off to me as, you know, them just simply being friends. Nothing more and nothing less. I feel like this past person... Okay. Let me... Let, let's really... Let, let's really break this down. I feel like after this tower moment transpired here between you and them, I feel like they met someone new. And I feel like they're perceiving them as like somebody that they can just simply find themselves being friends with. Nothing more, nothing less. And it's coming from a place of them kind of feeling like they're not necessarily ready for like any sort of romantic situation right now. Okay? So they are perceiving this person as like a friend. But this person that they're perceiving as this is just my friend doesn't look at them like just a friend. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does because I kind of feel like this person is kind of telling your past person that, oh my God, like you deserve a lot more than what this person put you through and how dare they put you through that. Like, oh my God, if you were mine, like I would treat you like gold. Like it has that, that, that feel to it. It has that feel to it. Which is kind of making me feel like this person more than likely told this person what happened here between you and them. Are they aprovechando? Is that what they're doing? How do you say that freaking word in English? Um, I'm trying to figure out if they're trying to take advantage of the situation here. Because I feel like they know that this empress, you know, just recently experienced an ending here between you and them. And I feel like they're looking at this situation like, yo, this is the perfect opportunity for me to wiggle my way into this empress's life and show them that I'm nothing like their ex. Nothing like them. 
again, it's like they're coming in with this overall energy of like, oh my God, like if you were mine, I would treat you like gold. Now, one thing I will say is that are they like, how do you say the freaking word in English, man? Are they trying to take advantage of the situation? Yes, absolutely. But they're not coming from a place of... I'm trying to describe it the best way that I can, but in English. It's I know how to say it in Spanish, but in English it's just like how do you how do you describe the situation? They're just kind of this, this emperor is basically kind of looking at this empress like, all right, this empress is single. They're not with anybody. This is my perfect moment to shoot my shot. There you go. There you go. Thank you. There you go. Now I will say this emperor does mean well. They do mean well. They do. They definitely do mean well. They do, their heart's in the right place. But let's be real, you know, they're finding out that this Empress is single and they're making their move. They're definitely making their move. I feel like they're telling this Empress, like, oh my God, like if you were mine, you don't understand. I would treat you like gold. I would treat you like gold. Mm, let's look at this Emperor. Tell me more about the Emperor. Okay, we got the Seven of Wands, we have the World, and then we also have the Page of Cups, and then we also, the, okay, I'm waiting, wait, wait, wait. I feel like this, this, this Emperor is catching feelings for this Empress very, very quickly. It's almost in a sense where they're trying to fight back how they feel about this Empress, but they just can't, and they don't want to. That's the thing, they just can't, and they don't want to. I feel like they tried, you know, I feel like they tried, but I feel like they just, they just can't help themselves. They can't help how they feel about this Empress. They want this damn Empress. Let's see how this Empress feels about this, for those of you who are resonating with this Empress. Can I about this Empress? They're still stuck in the past. Yep, they're still stuck in the past, man. They're still stuck on you. That's really what it is. They're still kind of stuck on you. I just feel like they're not ready. I don't feel like they're ready for what this emperor is trying to offer them, which kind of looks like a relationship that they're trying to offer them, to be completely honest. I just don't feel like they're ready. I don't feel like they're ready. They're still hung up on you, obviously. Obviously. All right, let's keep going. I don't feel like they're ready, though. Anyways. Okay, so let's keep going, you guys. We have the Six of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands, and then we also have the Three of Wands. They're waiting on you. They're waiting on you. Mark my words, this one over here is waiting on you, okay? They're waiting to receive communication from you. They're waiting for the two of you to come back together. That's what this Empress is basically waiting on you. They're waiting on you. They're waiting on you. Now I got the Four of Cups. We got the two of pentacles, and then we also have the two of wands. There's a delay. There's a delay happening here. Like, even though I see this empress waiting on you to reach out to them, to bring this relationship back together all over again, it's not happening. It's not happening. And it's causing this person to... Yeah, it's causing this person to, how do I say this? It's causing them to, to realize, honestly, that they can't keep doing this to themselves. Yeah, like they can't keep doing this to themselves. They can't sit around waiting on you to contact them. They can't sit around waiting on you to bring this relationship back together all over again. They can't sit around waiting on you to make things right with them. They just can't do this to themselves anymore. I feel like they've been waiting. For you to make a move I guess and because you haven't been making this move in their direction not only um, are they shutting down a really good opportunity uh, with someone they're also kind of wasting their time by doing this waiting on you because I don't see you heading in their direction that's the thing so I feel like eventually it's gonna hit this one and they're gonna realize like why the hell am I sitting around waiting for them why am I sitting around waiting for them what you know like it has that that feel to it we'll see what they do after that but 
What actions? We have the Nine of Swords, we got the Ten of Pentacles, and then we also have the Lovers. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Wands, and then we got the Knight of Wands, and then we have the Ten of Wands. I just, listen, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. As much as you want this one over here back in your life, as much as you want to take action in, in their direction, with the Ten of Wands coming out here, that's kind of telling me you're not doing anything. You're not doing absolutely anything. So let's look into this energy. Let's look into this energy because I feel like reality is going to really sink in for this empress and they're going to find themselves like having this like moment of truth like why am i waiting why am i waiting for libra to work things out with me why am i waiting for libra to try to bring this relationship back together all over again why am i waiting for an apology from libra why am i doing this to myself why why so let's let's see what they end up doing here time are about the uh four of cups two of pentacles two of wands We have the Seven of Wands, we have the Moon, we also have the Ten of Wands, and then we have the King of Pentacles. Hmm. Interesting. With the High Priestess. I kind of feel like the reason why they're in this energy has a lot to do with the fact that, well, for one, they're very, very intuitive and they can pick up on you energetically speaking because you're still holding on. It's forcing them to still kind of hold on to you. You guys are holding on to one another energetically speaking, right? And because this person is extremely intuitive and very sensitive, they can definitely pick up on you energetically speaking. Because they know that you're still holding on, it's causing them to still want to hold on to you. Okay, what actions is this empress going to take? We have Judgment, we have the Knight of Swords, and then we also have the Chariot. In regards to what actions this person plans on taking in your direction, honestly, they might decide to just reach out to you, to be completely honest. They just might. But to be completely honest, I don't feel like they will. I really don't feel like they will. And it has a lot to do with this overall energy right here. They don't feel like they did anything wrong. So call it ego, call it pride, call it whatever you want, but because they don't necessarily feel like they did anything wrong, why should they be the one to try to bring this relationship back together all over again when they're kind of looking at you like, well, you're the one who ruined things. It wasn't them. Why should they be the one to like fix things? Why should they be the one to bring this relationship back together all over again? That should be something that you should be doing on your end, which you're not. And I feel like, yes, you do want to, but you're not doing it. You're definitely not doing it. And we're going to look a little bit more into why that is. But we have Judgment. We also have the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Chariot. This is what they're waiting on. This is definitely what they're waiting on. But as time goes by, it's like they're having this damn conversation with themselves, to be completely honest. Like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, why am I waiting on, on Libra? Like, why am I doing this to myself? You know, it has that, that feel to it. So let's look a little bit more into the situation and see what ends up happening here. There's just a lot of delays and stagnancy right now between you and this person. It has a lot to do with the fact that, well, nobody's really doing anything about this entire situation. Let's look at this Ten of Wands. <clears throat> let's look at the Ten of Wands. Time over the Ten of Wands. Come on. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And then we have the um, Knight of Cups. And then we have the Ace of Swords. Hmm. The bottom of the deck. Okay. I feel like this is how you're perceiving them. I feel like this is how you're perceiving this Empress. You're perceiving this Empress as somebody who's over you. As somebody who just wants to do them. And like focus on their best life like that's how you're perceiving them yeah that's how you're perceiving them yeah it's like you look at this this empress like like they're happy that it's over let me let's pull a hidden truth oracle let's do that okay hold on let me grab these cards okay 
Let's pull one of these cards. I feel like you're perceiving them as somebody who's actually happy that this relationship is over between you and them. I also feel like you perceive this person as somebody who doesn't really care um, about you. In regards to this Empress's energy, we do have I am becoming a better person. I feel like this person's, you know, working a lot on themselves right now. Possibly even their career. They could even be going back to school or studying something. Anyways, um, oh, we have we will be together again. See, I okay, hold on. Let me let me just dissect this real quick. I feel like what's stopping you has a lot to do with how you're perceiving them. Like, you're perceiving them as, oh, like, no, look at them. They're happy without me. And look, they just posted this, and it looks like they're they're happy, you know? So maybe you guys follow each other on social media, and I don't know, you, you saw them, you know, out with their friends, you know, having the time of their life. But let's just see how this Empress feels, because I feel like that's what's really holding you back here. Granted, are they focusing on themselves right now? Absolutely. Uh, I also kind of feel like this person's making like a lot of future plans. So they could be thinking about traveling very soon. Um, how, okay, how does this Empress feel? Yeah, the seven, yeah. I just, I don't really see this Empress attached to absolutely anybody but themselves, to be completely honest. I just kind of see them focusing on their overall healing. I see them focusing on their growth and their expansion. Things are really falling into place here uh, for this person. That's one thing that I am kind of noticing about them, but we have the Empress to the Hermit. Then we got the Knight of Pentacles to the Chariot. Um, I, f I feel like this Empress, I'm going to be honest. I feel like this Empress does a really good job at portraying this image Uh I don't want to say that they're, that's the thing. This Empress is very, you know, they're kind of confusing me too. Okay, now I understand where they're coming from. Because I feel like this Empress does want to reconnect with you, but I don't feel like they're making any sort of attempt in your direction for all the reasons why I mentioned, right? Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that, oh my God, like, you know, this Empress, they're just, ugh, you know, my their, their whole entire life is falling apart since you've been gone. I can't say that, to be completely honest, because that would obviously be a lie, considering the cards that came out here for this Empress. I feel like this Empress is doing very well. I do. I feel like they're doing very well. I will say that. But in regards to, like, if we get rid of, like, this person's personal life, like, whatever it is that they're, you know, focusing on right now, which does appear to me, like, you know, they're just practicing a whole lot of self-love. They're very focused on their career for some. They could even be thinking about going back to school. You know, things of that nature. Like, I don't feel like this person's life is falling apart now that you're gone. I'm not getting that at all. But I am kind of getting that they really do want to reconnect with you. So I feel like because you're perceiving them, like, oh, they can care less about me. Or, oh, look at them. They're happy. Like, it's causing you to essentially feel like you're just going to end up getting rejected by them, basically. Again, it's like it's confusing you because I, I, yeah, you know, I understand where you're coming from now because I'm like, okay, wait a minute, this Empress is starting to freaking confuse me as well. It's confusing you because you don't know if they're over you or if they still do want this. Because you do, you still want this, but you're kind of looking at this damn Empress like, I don't know, like. Do they still love me or do they not fucking love me? Have they moved on with their life or have they not freaking moved on with their life? I want to see um, what's going to end up happening here between them and this new person. Let's look, let's look into that. What's going to end up happening with this empress and this new person? We got the Ace of Wands, we got the Five of Swords, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. Jeez, with the Seven of Wands to the Empress, to the Two of Pentacles, to the, sorry, to the Two of Cups, and then we have the Six of Cups. I feel like they're dealing with that type of per- wait, so sorry. Um, they, they were dealing with an Emperor. Um, Emperors, they're, they're known for going after what it is that they want, right? 
Um, and I feel like that's exactly the type of individual that they're dealing with. They're dealing with an individual that goes after what they want, okay? I do kind of feel like there's a little bit of a misunderstanding at play between these two because I feel like they're looking at this empress, like this empress is like playing hard to get. I don't feel like they are playing hard to get. I feel like it has a lot to do with you and we're gonna clarify that. But yeah, I feel like this emperor is looking at this emperor is like, oh, they're just playing hard to get. They're just playing hard to get, but that's okay because I'm very determined to get what I want with this empress. Like it does kind of have that feel to it, but I don't feel like they're playing hard to get. I don't feel like they're playing hard to get. We have temperance, we got the king of swords, we also have the fool, and then we have the six of swords, and then we have the queen of cups. I kind of feel like the reason why they're kind of like, how do I say this? I feel like the reason why they're kind of pushing this emperor away has a lot to do with the fact that they still need time, temperance time, to let someone go, you, and move forward and move on with their life. Because they still have emotions for you. So then there's that. I mean, I don't know. Let's see what you should do and we'll wrap this up. What should Libra... Let me shuffle first. What should Libra do? What actions should Libra take towards this Empress? Okay. Jesus. Hmm. <clears throat> okay ready let's do this so in regards to what actions you should take towards this um empress with the wheel of fortune to the ten of pentacles to the page of wands this is kind of telling me that this entire situation can definitely work out in your favor however it's going to require you to face the music okay and I don't know if you're ready for all of that because the moment that like you resurface back up for this empress, let's just say, you know, hypothetically speaking that you do decide to resurface back up here for this empress. The first thing that's going to process empress's mind is all the shit that you basically put them through. Okay. This entire situation requires you to face the music here. Okay. Um, you're going to have to honestly prepare yourself for whatever comes with, you know, you obviously resurfacing back up here for this empress. And if that's, you know, something that you're willing to do, then, then do it. But I feel like this entire situation can definitely turn in your favor. It just requires you to really face the music. It requires you to accept the fact that you did kind of mess things up here between you and them. You did. So are they going to make it easy for you to just wiggle your way back into their life? Absolutely not. You know, like if the shoe was on the other foot, you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure you would react and respond the same way. And that's just something that you're going to have to understand, right? Even though you want back in, even though you want things to be good, even, thing, even though you want things to go back to the way it used to be, if the shoe was on the other foot, you're not going to make it that easy for this person to basically wiggle their way back into your life. You're not, because you're gonna look at them like they're a liar. You're gonna look at them as somebody who's out to get you. You're gonna look at them as somebody that you can't trust. You're gonna question every little thing, especially this combo right here. You're gonna question every little thing that comes out of that person's mouth if the shoe was on the other foot. And that's something that you're gonna have to um, deal with, right? That's something that you're just gonna have to deal with. If you do want things to get back on track, you're gonna have to deal with all that comes with repairing this relationship and that requires a lot of hard work and labor and patience because they're not going to make it that easy for you they're just not they're not i just don't see them doing that all right so that's what i have for you libra hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated also too for those of you who want to follow me on instagram the link is in the description box down below and i will see you guys in your next reading bye